I think that if Valley, Nebraska, the dancers, played a sport, it would be, would be rowing, would be on crew. Is it crew or yeah. is it rowing? Oh, either. I think that I, because I, I feel like, you know, you have to be in sync with each other, which we're like used to that. doing. And you also have to follow directions, <laughs> which we're also used to doing. So I feel like we would be, I think we'd make a good rowing team. Would you be the one that shouts all the directions? <laughs> the, the Generally, team. it's someone who's <laughs> <Okay, yes. laughs> You like to be loud sometimes. <laughs> I think if our company was a sports team, we would be synchronized swimming. Oh, also, it's sort of to like be together. the ballet of the water. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good evening, news. We're going to give our dancers here a little yeah. time to warm up. Yeah, a little warm-up coming. Get used to the stage here. This warm-up is very, very important. Yeah, Let's see how they look. Dance Court was a piece created by Harrison McElbowney. He had this idea. He was watching sports one night. I think it was ice skating or gymnastics and, and really listening to the commentary uh, that goes on behind it. So, like, when they fall or... The, the double double flips and the tricks that they do and, and found that really interesting and said, what if I came up with a piece that made dance as a sport? So if it was more of an Olympic sport. And he started coming up with concepts such as um, things like rushing, like when dancers rush, what could we do to cause a penalty on that and, and have a flag on the play and things like that. Really become a piece that audiences really can relate to because it's, they're sitting and watching, but with the commentary behind it, similar to sports, they can get more into it. I think one of the interesting things about dance sport is that every time you listen to it, you can hear a little bit, um, something else comes out of the commentary. So you'll hear something that you haven't heard before. The ref's gonna keep an eye on this couple after what just happened. Oh yeah, there's the tank. Oh. Nice and tight. <laughs> brilliance of the piece too is that it's so intricately layered and when Jeremy was here setting it with us he said he actually worked on the sound design with Harrison so they choreographed the piece and then layered the music because it's classical music um, with the commentary they had professional commentators come in and do it of course we have to have the right timing and the dance for the commentary to work but I think that's sort of the brilliance of it it's fun to perform with your friends a piece that includes comedy. It just makes it, adds another layer of hilarity. It's, it's um, done extremely well. Many, many companies have it, and I'm um, happy to have it back here in Valley, Nebraska. I think this is the first time I'll be in a uniform since like 1992. <laughs>